So, I'm on a day off again, uh, and I'm running about two hours behind where I thought I'd be. So, I had to nip into Skeggy this morning to go and um, do some shopping, and the traffic was just so painfully slow. Uh, obviously, we're in peak holiday time, and uh, everybody's sort of going into Skegness. Anyway, I've done that, so I'm all, um, I've got food and water and everything for the next week. And I've decided to come out um, with Rasha and give Rasha another walk. Um, it didn't look like we were going to go into because we had a couple of really heavy downfalls earlier. So um, I'm accompanied by Rasha. Hi, Rash. Can say hello. And um, I've come to the Rigsby Roadside Nature Reserve, um, which I've never been before. I've got no idea what's here or anything like that. But probably just going to have a an hour's walk, uh, stretch our legs, and. Head down, down. So this is this is where I am, <coughs> and this is overlooking the land. And there in the distance is the wooded area, which apparently we can um, apparently we can walk into. So I've got Russia on the lead, and there's somebody else here. Let's go down and have a walk. So as I say, it was really grey and um, it went quite coolish. So I have put my hoodie on today, which may be a mistake. Although if you're going through the woods and it's in the shade, it may be a bit, uh, it may be a bit cooler. We'll we'll wait and see. And uh, giving Russia, Russia a big leg stretch. Hey right, Rush, oh, come on then. Lots of smells for her. So the vista we can see for absolute miles. Um, so it's slightly hilly here. I wouldn't really call it hilly hilly. Not like back in Manchester, but I'm on slight up and over there. Got some wind turbines in the distance. So all these fields have all now been harvested. And uh Walking down here, in front of me, I can see a, I can see a gate. So I'm going to have a, have a look, and uh, let's see what happens in the woods today. Got a sign there, private, private land, no public right away. So don't go that way. And uh, well, there's no kissing gate, but anti semi natural woodland. So let's. Uh, Crack through here and see where we go. So there's, I said there was a car, but there's no sign saying keep dogs on lead or anything. So I am going to risk letting Russia um, Russia off. And I'm just seeing. I'm assuming the people that were here before. So I'm assuming the path I'm on is going to take us around the perimeter of this wood, this ancient wood, not any old wood, but it's an ancient wood. Ancient. So again, for the next uh, couple of weeks until we get the August bank holiday um, out of the way and the kids go back, um, on my days off, I'm going to um, do my best to explore some of the less lesser known touristy places where uh, nobody else will come to because everybody's at the at the seaside. Which is good, and it's good to um, see places like Skegness and Mablethorpe, uh, etc. Uh, busy. Right, so, which way should we go? I've got a path here, and a path here. So my gut feeling is that way will take us around the perimeter of this ancient wood. But I think we'll have a, we'll have a walk down here and see if we pop out, my gut feeling is this is going to pop out onto a field or something rather than um, rather than the perimeter. Well, I don't know though because it's a long walk. So the path that I've just been on, uh, as you can see here, has been 
a little bit of a hardcore underneath here, a bit of stone. Oh, blame me, Charlie. And now I'm coming to another crossroads. There's a path that way. There's a path that way. And there's a path that way. I think we'll, I think we'll go in a straight line. Uh, and see where we go. If it gets a bit overgrown, um, I'm going to stop because I am mindful. And I've got a little rasher with me. Oh, I've just found a little bench. Hang on a minute. Look at this here. Look. Found a bench rasher. Let me chat. Oh, the sun's just come out as well. I'm not got my hat or sunglasses with me. I wasn't expecting a sunny, a sunny afternoon. But look at that there. Um. Is it passable or is it a bit over, it's looking a bit overgrown to be honest. I'm not gonna go down there because I don't want Russia getting any um any thorns in her feet. Come on, Rush. I don't want Russia getting any um thorns in her feet or anything. Um so I'm not gonna go that way. Uh, I think we're gonna go that way. You're gonna lead the way, Russia. Walk on, good girl, walk on. Good girl, come on then. Very quiet, really, really, really quiet. Lovely, um, majestic old trees up in the canopies there. Quite a lot of sunlight coming through, um, which is good. You need the sunlight to get on the, uh, get on the forest or the woods floor to encourage, uh, to encourage growth and more life. So I can hear a couple of birds, but I'm not actually seeing any, uh, I've not only really seen any birds or any wildlife. Oh, that's a fine old tree. Look at that one there. Right, so the path's meandering its way. Oops, Daisy, through the woods. And again, as I say, I'm not going down anything full of thorns because of Russia, uh, Russia's paws. So just overlooking the fields. Mm, there's the woods there. And another little bench if you want to rest your feet. Mm, overhanging branch. So unlike we'll the place that I found, um, the Hopeland's Woods, was it Hopeland's Woods uh, last week? There's no, uh, apparently there's no streams or anything like that here, so it's just literally a it's just a walk through the uh, through the woods. So, uh, let's get me and me and Russia off the campsite for a for a couple of hours. And I did go and try and find another woods um, that was on a map, and I ended up on some private road to some manor house. And I thought, hey, up! I shouldn't really be on this uh, on this road that Google had sent me on. Anyway, we found this place instead. Another little city down the uh, bench. Hey, Russia. Oh, I'm not going to sit down and sit. It's a bit soggy. I'm going to get a soggy bottom. What do you do, Russia? Hmm? Lots of smells. You're a good girl, aren't you? Uh, this could be one of those walks now where I end up flipping getting lost in the woods. Hmm. 
And I've only ever done that once. And it wasn't so much getting lost, but um, years ago. In fact, I'll tell you when it was. It was when um, Prince Charles and Lady... Di oh, God, I'm on a, uh, another crossroads here now. Uh, do I go that way? Or do I go that way? My hunches go that way. Um, yeah, it was when uh, Prince Charles and Lady Di got married, the bank holiday, I remember many decades ago that was, and me and a group of my mates, we all uh, went for a, a wild camp by a, uh, a local river and forest. Proper, proper hardcore camping this is, and um, we had a campfire and everything, and I can't remember, I just decided to go for a walk in the, in the forest, and I walked, and walked and walked and walked, and got a bit dis discoordinated. And in the distance, I could see um, a great big fire. I think, what's going on over there? So I thought, I'm going to have a bit of a nosy. Eh? And to cut a long story short, I was actually completely, I thought I was walking in a straight line. And I hadn't, I'd actually walked in a circle. And I'd come back on, on the camp, what we'd set up, and the fire that I thought was somebody else was, um, was actually the, the camp we were on. So, um, yeah, it just goes to show that you can walk in a circle when you're walking in a straight line. So, uh, lots of blackberries and all growing. It's going to be a really good year for those that make jams and go foraging. I'm not, I've not got a sweet tooth, I'm not a, a jam person, but um, well, those of uh, th those of you out there that are doing it, hang on a minute, Rash is just coming across a bit of a thorn. There you go, good girl. Let, let me go forward. Come on, good girl. Uh, so, according to Google Maps, I'm in the dead centre of the <laughs> dead centre of the woods. Um, Hmm, doesn't feel that, but according to, that, according to Google Maps, that's where I am. We'll see. So I think, I think what I've actually done, um, if, you've, if you've been watching this all the way through, this bench here, and that walk there where Rasher is, is where I said, I'm not going to walk down because it's overgrown. And... Um, We've ended up coming back that way because ahead of me, it looks like I'm going to rejoin the main path. <sighs> so I should have put some chalk on a tree, wasn't it, Mark, Mark where I am? Um, look, here. Yeah, there you go. And, and even though it's quite bright, if you look ahead, you can see the sunshine. Can you see the sun, all the sun beating through the trees? But I've got raindrops falling on my head, which is a bit weird. Yeah, look how bright it is, look. Whoa, evidence, evidence that other people have been here at some stage. Do, 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 do. Somebody's been den building. You're doing, Russia? You've been a good girl. Hmm? Good girl. A distinct lack of uh, bird song of any sort, any sort even. Uh, wood carvings, hang on a minute, but that looks like a wigwam. That that looks like a that looks like a tit. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Very weird, bizarre. Yeah, so I, my sense of direction it says we're heading back on this path is the path back up to uh, back up to the car because it's looking very familiar. I've got that hardcore uh, bit on the on the ground. See here, and I'm walking up a very very gentle uh, a very gentle hill as well. So, uh, whew. 
very warm. Maybe I should drink when we get to the car. I've got some water in the car for her. Yeah, definitely. That's. Um, I remember passing that. I remember passing that. So if you're looking for a nice walk to come down and you've got a dog or something like that, or you want to be away from the maddening crowds, this place could be for you. Peaceful and quiet. And I should have fired up my walking app and then you could have seen uh, the route that I've taken uh, and the distance. So I've been out through about just short of three quarters of an hour. Uh, probably covered, I don't know, one and a half miles maybe, something like that. Uh, right, Russia. And I'm coming back to the gate where we came into the woods here. Uh, and then the people that I saw who were parked up at the top, they had gone down that way. But I think they'll do, uh, yeah, yeah there's, there's, I can see my car in the distance. I think they can do for now. There you go, Rush, you're a good girl. Mm, come on then. Woo. Baking hot, really hot. So when I get back to the car, I'll give you a quick, uh, another little look at the little lay-by and I'll give you the, uh, the what three words. Do you use what three words? I, I mean, if you had to use it to actually find somewhere, I've ne I've never used it. I've given the location out a few times on videos, but I've never um, I've never used it. Oh, pretty butterfly. So I'm back at the car, um, and as you can see, I've got a, a bit of a lay-by here. There we go. Yeah, three or four cars here. Uh, doors open. I'm just going to uh, get some water out for Russia. I will do if I can open my boots. Hang on a moment. It's a bit strange. There's some water, Russia. There you go. There you are. Any water, Russia? Want some water? Yeah, Russia. <sighs> Obviously, she doesn't want any water. She'll drink out of a stream, as you've seen her do in the past, and a river and things like that, but she doesn't drink out of, uh, out of this watery thing I've got for her. Weird dog. Right, there you go, girl. Yup, 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 yup. Good girl, there you go. See you next week. I've got a box of Beck's beer. I've got a box of Beck's beer in the car that I got earlier. Leave the door open and um, let me find the what's three words and then I'm going to wrap this video off and take my, take my hoodie off as well. Just give me one moment and I uh, get my hoodie right, off. So there you go, that's um, Rigsby, Roadside Nature Reserve. And the what three words is global toenail a scrubbing. What three words? Global toenail scrubbing. And you can see that or not, uh, possibly not. Right, so that's, um, that's been our entertainment today. As I say, shopping, we've been out on, in, the, in the car for a while. We tried to find this other wood that was a bit of a failure, and we've ended up here and um, gonna head back and get some tea on. So that, that's a wrap on this. If, uh, if you enjoyed the little video, uh, that's wonderful as ever. Just give the video a, a, a thumbs up, a like. That would be really, really nice. Um, and uh, if you've recently subscribed and you've got here to the end of the video, thank you for being a, a, a subscriber. And uh, if you've not subscribed, you know what? You can do, do so down there below. And I just found another sign hidden away in the bushes. Uh, and give you another better overlook of the uh, lay-by just so if you do ever want to come here you come around the bend looking for that green gate see the green gate and you'll see the sides you'll see the lay-by and you're safe to pass there all right guys i'm going um got a bit of a sweat on gonna get a bottle of water out of the back of the car for myself keep safe catch you on the next one and uh be lucky see you later guys Bye.